A couple of quick mailbag questions here. Mailbag at WrestlingObserver.com. Person says, it's been months since we've seen Adam Cole. Any update on his status and when he might be back? You hear anything new? I mean, it's a concussion. It's a bad concussion, real bad concussion. But I have not heard. I don't know if, we'll, you know, it's like he'll be back when he's cleared. You know, I mean, it could be tomorrow and it could be never. You know what I mean? Yeah, I uh, have not really heard anything. I mean, he's he's doing his uh, his Twitch deal every day, so I mean, from that from that aspect, he's he's fine. But you know, I don't know what the status of being able to travel, work, anything is. So, I guess we'll see. Any update regarding Bandito? No, I went to Japan, and um, you know, obviously, both companies want him, and uh, my gut on him is that as soon as he signs they will release it because that's the kind of news that they don't need to delay you know right now so um yeah you know i mean he said he's leading towards AEW, but there's nothing new Fred says what's going on with day one tickets in atlanta they were supposed to be on sale september 23rd they are still unavailable is the event being changed or canceled um, so the, th- they had discussed, uh, changing the date. I don't think they will. I was told a couple weeks ago that if they do make a change, the change would have been announced on Friday. Friday came and went. There was no announcement. So I presume it's on, um, and the tickets will be on sale soon. Um, I mean, it still might be changed, but you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, the problem is, 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 um, every day that they would change, that they could change it to, they've already got shows booked. Now, of course they could cancel those shows, but I have not heard of them not selling tickets in those other things. And I think they would freeze ticket sales of one of the other shows if they were, going to uh cancel but uh i mean the the idea of the pay-per-view is is january 1st they want to make it an annual tradition in atlanta and um january 1st is a saturday i believe this year so it's like that's good because it's like you know it's better than i mean i i guess it's not that you know new year's day is a holiday either way if it's on a thursday that's fine too but, um, you know, they want the Saturday night, January, f- or not, the, not Saturday night, but the uh, January 1st evening tradition to become a wrestling holiday tradition. So I presume it will keep going. But yes, there was discussion of the date. And that's probably why they've delayed the ticket sales. And finally here, any reason why Frankie Kazarian is working regularly in Impact? He's on TV regularly, won the X Division title, but he's never referred to as an AEW guy. I don't know. He worked AEW tonight, you know, um, in, uh, he worked one of the uh, dark elevation matches. Um, I don't know why they don't, whatever it is. I, I, I still, you know, I, I have to watch that impact pay-per-view because I heard so many of the matches were really good. I'm going to try to watch that first thing tomorrow morning, but that could be impossible because tomorrow's a very busy day. But, uh, I heard Kazarian was good and, um, Eddie Edwards and Josh Alexander was, I heard great. So, uh, Got to watch those matches and and some of the other stuff. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.